It's really frustrating to try and generate text-based designs with Ideogram and find out that just a few of the letters look a bit wonky, making the design un usable but there's actually a hidden feature within ideogram which increases its text accuracy and will help you get better results so we're on the home page of ideogram right here and if you click into the prompt bar and then open up the advanced settings right here next to generate then you might have noticed before that there's a setting called rendering and we've got fast default and quality as the options to pick from and you might not really know what this actually does you might assume that if you change this to quality that you get a higher resolution image but that is not the case because the way ideogram described this in their help section is that the fast setting takes about five seconds generates images quickly and is best used for ideation when you want to have a quick look at the composition of an image so this is better for testing or if you don't have a lot of time that is when you want to change it too fast. The default setting takes about 12 seconds and that is just the standard rendering that is normally used. However, the quality setting, and this is interesting, takes about 20 seconds so you are going to have to wait longer, but this is for better detail and overall image rendition. Can sometimes improve certain imperfections visible in default mode. And they've got a bunch of examples right here of the different modes being in use. Let's click on the first one. We can see right here the fast, the default, and now the quality. You can clearly tell that it gets more accurate as time goes on you don't have as many elements melting together and the face structure also looks a lot better on the quality setting than it does on the fast one then we have another example with this bird right here and clearly the quality setting looks a lot more detailed and realistic than the first one and the interesting part is at the bottom we have an example for text based design so here's fast default and quality you can clearly see especially if you look at the G that the fast version messed up on the G and the O and the quality version is the most accurate when it comes to the letters and doesn't mess up as much as the rest so the higher your rendering setting the more accurate ideogram is going to get with the text because you give the tool you give the AI more time for the actual render which means it's going to mess up less on the fast setting some of the other details also look worse, like the hats are more misshaped or deformed. Um, so it's not just about text, it is generally about the accuracy of the AI following the prompt. So here we've got a quick example of one of my tests. Uh, this is a prompt from my 100 print on demand prompt guide, which is linked in the description. And here we're looking at the fast rendering result. There's quite a bit of text, so hanging with my gnomes. The word my has two Ys for some reason. And in some of the other results, there's even more that's messed up, like the word hanging right here, the start of it is completely random. My, again, doesn't look right. And you can kind of also see that the graphic doesn't look the greatest. It's a little bit, I wouldn't say blurry, but you know, it's not the nicest, looks a bit rushed to be fair. Whereas here we have the result with the quality rendering settings, so the best you can get. And the word my doesn't have two eyes, Hanging is also legible and generally the results look a lot better, the graphics included. So yeah, definitely test out this setting. If you always use the default before, change to quality and you should overall get better results. Still, it doesn't guarantee that you always have everything spelled correctly. I definitely noticed that during my tests, but it is going to give the AI more time to think and more time to accurately lay out your text and spell everything correctly. I hope this video helps you out and if you're looking for some really cool ideogram prompts to help you with your print on demand designs, make sure to check out this video next.